this is Chris Ball of Mashpee TV, here with another Mashpee update. I'm here today with the fairly new minister of the Congregational Church here in Mashpee, Reverend Randy Day. Reverend, thank you so much for being with us today and, you know, taking the time out. I know that the holidays are usually a very busy time for any congregation, so thank you for being here. Thank you for inviting me. So, you're new to the Mashpee area, uh, yes. I'm guessing from what I've heard, but you have traveled in, as far as your ministry a lot from what I hear also. So why don't you take some time and uh, you know, tell us what brought you to Mashpee and how you got here through, I understand Africa, Asia, <laughs> uh, Madagascar, I think I heard too. My goodness, yes. So. Uh, you've, you've done some research, <laughs> yes. I, I went to Madagascar. Well, I grew up in Illinois. I went to Illinois Wesleyan University um, for a couple of years. Our youngest son is there now as a junior. I applied through the uh, Presbyterian Church to do a junior year abroad. They accepted me. I was a Methodist, but they accepted me, and I went off to the Philippines. I stayed for my junior year and my senior year, so I had two years in Southeast Asia. Did a lot of traveling around to the neighboring countries between those two academic years. So I've always had a, a soft spot for Southeast Asia, like it very much, especially the Philippines. And uh, from there, I went to uh, Yale Divinity School, which kind of broke me out of the Midwest into the East Coast, where most of my, well, almost all of my ministry, except for one year, has been in uh, Connecticut and New York City. But during those times, I led a number of local church mission trips to, um, to Haiti, uh, from which we adopted two of our children later on, uh, mission trips to uh, Mozambique in Southeast, in, in Southeast uh, Africa. And then uh, during my career, I spent six years as a district superintendent uh, for Manhattan, Bronx, Staten Island, Westchester County, so three-fifths of New York City. And then later on, I was the general secretary of the International um, United Methodist Mission Board called the General Board of Global Ministries. And during that time, I did a lot of tremendous traveling around the world and often responding to uh, disasters because we had a whole humanitarian wing of our board called UMCOR. So uh, about two days after the tsunami in Indonesia, we were there with a camera crew uh, to tell a story, come back, raise money, and um, yeah, so, and we did a lot of work with Muslims there. That's the largest Muslim country in the world. So I've done a lot of interfaith uh, work on the international level, but also in the parishes that I serve in Connecticut and New York City. So I've always, I've always liked that very, very much. So how did you end up in Mashpee? Yes, yeah, so my wife uh, followed me around from church to church, parish to parish, um, as did the children. And, Couldn't uh, lose them along the way? I didn't, I didn't lose any of them along the way. There are stories of pastors who left some kid asleep in the back pew. I hear that a lot, but back in the old days. No, we didn't lose any children. Uh, she had a chance to come to uh, McLean Hospital. She's a social worker and to take a significant job there. So that's how we came to Massachusetts. She followed me a lot and I said, uh, it's your turn. So we came up here and we're living in Plymouth and I was looking for some uh, church uh, positions, and I saw um, a word come out from the Mashpee Congregational Church, and I made the contact, and it all happened very quickly in August. And I love it, it's a great place. So I'm happy to be in Massachusetts. I'm especially happy to be at the Congregational Church here in town. Well, why is that? Well, the people, the people, wonderful. You walk in there, and we've had a number of relatives and family members come, and they're unknown to the people, and they all tell us the same thing. They're so authentic, they're so genuine, they're so friendly from the minute you uh, walk in. You don't even have to wait for the coffee hour at the end, which we have every, every week, but um, it, they're friendly. And I've learned since August that they are uh, very involved in a number of uh, mission, um, community-wide mission things. They've done that for some time. Uh, they're big on fellowship. We've had a couple big dinners since I've been there. We had, a, we had a fair with lots of people coming in. So they really work well together. They have lots of ideas. So part of what I'm doing is uh, running to keep up with them and then uh, throw myself into the Sunday morning worship services. And I love preaching, love preaching. And they're very responsive. 
Uh, they even laugh at a couple of my jokes now and then, and they pay attention, a lot of eye contact. So my preaching has been uh, pretty much the same framework uh, all of these uh, years, decades, which is to relate the scripture to uh, daily life. Uh, not only current events, but what's happening in their lives. So like every other congregation, Jewish, Christian, Muslim, uh, they, haven't, uh, they haven't been long out of the COVID era. So um, not everyone is physically back, but they're, they're coming back in. So I preach to them uh, in the pews, and um, I also preach to a camera. We have a, quite a few people watching us on uh, YouTube, Facebook. And, uh, well, and you're uh, live streaming. Live streaming, we are. We so are. you're seeing it live. And That's right. And then I, I know that we play it back one, uh, once or twice a week from here. Right, so. exactly, exactly. And our music program is, is outstanding, just outstanding. So we had the Cape Cod uh, String Quartet this past Sunday and we're having lessons and carols this coming Sunday. We, you know, every Sunday morning at 10 o'clock we're there and we invite people to come if you don't have a church. So uh, the, mu the music's really great and the fellowship's great. So people are excited to be there on a Sunday morning. Yeah, recently you had uh, a veterans program yes. prior to Veterans Day by a couple of days. Yes. And uh, I heard, I'm not sure who they were, the choir that, I don't even know if choir is the right definition, yeah, but it was a, a group of men singing that exactly. were, were really, really good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was a Cape Cod men's veterans, exact title, but they were veterans from across Cape Cod, and they were there a year ago, so this is the second time to come back. They were just amazing. And then we had a number of people come from the public, and then we sort of repeated the same thing Sunday morning, which is we ask... Uh, anyone who is a veteran to stand and uh, name the, give their name and the branch of service. And someone asked me just before the service, uh, is it okay if we stand and say, my father, my brother, or my sister? I said, sure. So we did a quick um, pivot and it took up a good bit of the service and one of the most meaningful services we had. That's great. Yeah. So what do you look to do in the future? Anything, any ideas that you've done elsewhere or? Well, through the uh, Mission Outreach Committee, we're uh, looking at a, a hospital uh, in Mozambique, one that I've visited maybe four times since the mid-1980s. Uh, they wanted to do something international because most of the things we're doing are uh, local and regional, which is great. But we wanted to mix in one uh, international thing. So they wanted to go with the contacts I had. And uh, I, I think we'll be looking at the pediatric ward, um, the delivery room, maybe a delivery table. We'll find a couple of things that we can help sponsor then be in touch. You gonna bring back a lemur or two with you? You know, the lemurs are in, in, uh, in uh, Madagascar nearby. Um, I hadn't thought of that, but you know, I, I know you've been to Africa too. So on these mission trips, I've often uh, tacked on a uh, safari at the end to kind of reward the people for building the house or doing whatever we were doing. And uh, yeah, so I've been around a lot of the uh, animals in Africa, fascinating. Uh, to me, it pulls me close to creation to see, oh my gosh, God created these. I mean, these elephants mm. are so huge and I'm getting a close look at a leopard and a lion and all that sort of thing. And my family's loved it very much and the church people who are with me. So uh, Africa's a great place, a mother continent. Um, I think we all pretty much know by now scientifically that the human race came from Africa and spread all. So I always feel like I've gone back to the mother continent. Great. So when are our services? 10 o'clock, Sunday morning. And Lots of parking, 259 uh, Shore Drive. And uh, you yeah. gotta be more specific than that <laughs> because it's hidden away. It is, it is hidden away a little bit. Um, we're in New Seabury and uh, if you find the inn and the other commercial places around there, a couple of big signs that say church. And so you follow the, your nose into the parking lot and you'll be right in there. For all you locals, I'll be more specific, it's behind the raw bar. Okay, <laughs> yeah. exactly, exactly. All right, anything else you want to tell us? No, I think that's great. I enjoyed uh, being here very much. I'm enjoying uh, being in the community. Uh, we took some um, chicken pies to the fire station the other day. We did the veterans thing. I spoke at the veterans park. It was, I guess, the turn for the congregational pastor. And I'm uh, really looking forward to making connections with the Native American uh, community. 
So I'm very pleased to be in uh, Meshby, and I think our church is going to uh, going to grow and continue uh, the great things they've done. They're they're a fairly new church, only 15 years old. So they got a lot of zip and a lot of um, a lot of character for a new young church. That's great, and you know, Mashpee's really glad to have you here, and somebody with your energy and thank you. your experience. So you know, we welcome you. Thank you, thank you. I'm so glad to be here. Okay. Anything you. else you'd like to say in closing? Uh, well, I uh, I think you know when I mentioned current events before, uh, it's important that we keep an eye on what's happening in the world. Um, a few weeks before I came, someone in the congregation suggested there be a peace candle. So we've been doing that every Sunday. It started around the, the war in Ukraine, praying for Ukrainians, praying for an end of the war. Uh, but now we cover a lot of other things. So Palestine, Israel, um, Yemen, South Sudan. We, we try to be connected to the world and not just live in our bubble. And we just um, touched on um, International Human Rights Day, which happened to be Sunday, December the 10th, the other day. So we, we try to see ourselves as a global community that, that acts locally. That's great. Yep. Okay. All right. Well, I think that's going to pretty much wrap it up. Thank and, you. And, you know, um, this is Chris Ball from Mashpee TV with another Mashpee update, as I said. And on behalf of all of us from Mashpee TV, and I'm sure I can speak for you too, Reverend Day, we wish everybody the happiest of holidays and a great new year. And we will see you next time.